everyone, Yvette Cinema here. I have such a special treat for you. You know, I want to showcase this new downloadable book that I have available on my website at yvettesaintamont.com. Under courses, you will see my books. And this is my pattern silhouette downloadable book that you can purchase and print. And the fabulous thing about this and why I created it is it actually has um, 28 downloadables in it. So I have designed all these beautiful animals for you. And I'm just going to give you a little look here at what's inside. I've got some aquatic animals, some beautiful birds, got a parrot, ostrich, owl, some big cats, a leopard, cheetah, we've got the tiger, some Serengeti animals, giraffe, elephant. Then I've got some little farm animals for you, a little lamb and a horse. I've got a pig, a longhorn, and then we get into uh, the woodland creatures. I've got a deer and a squirrel and a fox, a bear, We've got some insects, a beautiful dragonfly, honeybee, butterfly, and then I've gone and created some um, foliage and botanicals for you guys that you can use as um, environmental pieces behind your animal silhouettes. So I've got all kinds of leaves and florals and I've even got some um, northern wilderness uh, pine cones and um, chestnuts or whatever they're called. <laughs> I don't even remember the name of them. Some maple leaves and um, some aquatic sea life as well. So this amazing little downloadable printable is what is available for you guys if you want to do my paint like a designer pattern silhouette course or if you want to create your own so I've given instructions on how to transfer any of these images onto your watercolor paper so you can start painting in them so I'm going to do one today for you and I think what I'm going to do is uh, the I wanted to do the owl so I'm going to grab the owl and I'm going to demonstrate how to transfer and how to create and why this is such a fabulous book to um, have on hand. So if you don't like to draw but you love creating animals with me, this is an amazing um, little download to have and there's 20 downloads in them so and the wonderful thing about it is even though you use one animal once you can recreate different versions of that painting with different environmental pieces behind it as many times as you want so it's just great to have everybody's is going to have their own design and style and the other thing is you don't even have to use my environmental pieces if you don't want you can use them as inspiration but why I wanted to give you some environmental pieces is that you can use those as the background images in these uh, paintings so I'm going to do that with the owl and I'm going to grab those leaves so I wanted to do a little demo and a course to show you how you would use my downloads so I've got my watercolor paper here I'm just going to take a sheet off. Now I printed the download with my um, inkjet printer and when I do the transfer it is going to be opposite of what it is in the book. So if you want it the original way before you print this particular animal um, you're going to have to flip it and I give instructions in the first page of the book on how to do that if you want it to stay that configuration. The other thing is if you want your animal bigger you can enlarge it when you print it. You can change the size of it. 
I'm going to leave it the size that I have in the book only because I want to put uh, environmental pieces behind. So I want room to grow. So I'm going to place my animal where I want it. And you can see when you place your animal down um, where it is on the book. You can see the back. This is why you just want to print it on copier paper and not a heavier stock so that you can see your image through and place it correctly on your uh, watercolor paper. And then all you're going to do is start rubbing. And I'm just using a bone folder here and the ink will transfer over. Now, if you find it's too thin, a trick is to, and in um, my course that I give for free, when you leave me a review on my website, I show you and demonstrate how you can get a thicker line by tracing this with a pencil first. But I'm going to try to do it this way. Okay, so you just want to rub wherever the image is onto your watercolor paper. And when you lift it, you will see the image transfer. Now it's very light because this is a very light line. So as I mentioned, if you want a thicker line, what you can do is just take a regular pencil. I don't think I would have one on hand here. Can you hear me rummaging through my stuff? I don't know where my pencil is. I usually have a ton of them here and I was just drawing. I do have one in my my protractor. So what you would do is just uh, trace the image over with a pencil. And you could do it nice and thick. And then when you go to transfer it, it'll show up a little darker. But as you can see here, it's really light. So if you want to go and just trace over it a bit, you can. I'm going to do that for you guys so you can see. I can see it perfectly fine, but I don't know that you'll be able to see it through the camera. So I'm going to do this for you. Just so you can see my image transferred. And then we will get into designing it. And I'm also going to go and see if I can find a proper pencil because for some reason mine has disappeared. So there's my image. Okay, I found my pencil. <laughs> All right. Okay, so once you have your um, design here, you can go and add whatever foliage you want. Now, I'll demonstrate for you how you can deepen the lines. So I am just going to use my pencil to trace the foliage like so. I'm being very quick. You might want to take your time. Okay. And then what you can do is, and I can see my drawing behind my little owl. I'm going to start adding the foliage and we're going to do it the same way. So what I want to do is I think I want to add a couple of these and I'm going to kind of rotate. I'm going to add layers. So I'm going to put one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to transfer the whole thing. I'm only going to transfer what's behind the owl. And you will see in a minute what I mean. Because I do want to add another 
leaf like this. But what this will do is it'll put the image behind the owl. See my leaf? And then I'm going to add another one here so that I've got a couple bunches of these leaves. And what's nice about this process is I am giving you all these printables, but you can really create your own designs with them. Everybody's going to use a different design or a different configuration. And I'm just going to redraw them here a little darker for you so you can see. And then once we have our drawing in, with the help of me providing this for you, if you do not like to draw, is you can go ahead and start painting your beautiful paintings. So all the drawing portion of it is already done for you. If you don't have the drawing technical skill, but you want to create these beautiful animals. So I've done two bunches of leaves. Um, let's see, what else do I want to put on this guy? Do I want to have a couple more? Maybe I'll have a couple floating leaves. I think that could be really cool. So I'll put one of these little leaves up here. And you know, you can put flowers and branches. So I have one little leaf there. I think I'll do like, let's see, what else do I have? I've got some beautiful botanicals here. And I think what I'm going to do is add a little bit of this botanical behind as well. So it's almost like, let me draw my leaf first so I can see where that leaf is. You guys can see because it's a very faint. And I want to have some botanicals behind. So I'll get a little botanical here. So it's almost like you're creating your own little painting using my little drawings, but you're customizing it, which is really pretty and unique. So I'm just outlining it a little darker for you so that you can see where I put it and get an idea of how I am creating my environment here. Isn't that pretty? And then I have one leaf there. I think I want to add the rest of the botanical up here. So I'm just continuing my little drawing and I'm rubbing that on there. Okay, let me just deepen it a bit so you can see. And that's this little one that I did here. So 
pretty. I like that. It's nice and simple. Okay, so now I've got my entire composition that I have transferred using my downloadables from Pattern Silhouette Downloadable that's available on my website. So I've shown you how to do that. That's how you use these beautiful pattern silhouettes. And if you want to see how I paint them and use inspiration from um, my pattern course, or you can actually paint this like an owl if you want. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint this painting using beautiful patterns inspired by one of my favorite courses, and that's Journey with Pattern through Pocket Size Paintings. Okay. So if you haven't done my course, Journey with po Pattern Through Pocket Size Paintings, you can definitely find that course in the uh, course link on my website. Here is my little journal that I did in the course, and it has all the patterns that we've done in it. And what I love about doing this kind of painting, Paint Like a Designer, is you can go through your little journal, think of it as your little art Bible, and find designs or complementary patterns that you love. And I did the turtle in this pattern, but look at all the different patterns that you can incorporate into your artwork. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this boho pattern as inspiration. And I love the white background with these like dark navy uh, palm fronds with the um, azure, my azure. And I also use my coral peach and my golden honey. So I'm going to be using these colors as well as titanium white in my painting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to like mimic this pattern into my owl. And then I'll use inspiration from this as the background. So we're using the same colors. And we're going to have a lot of fun with this. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get a clean palette is start with my owl. So I am going to get my golden honey and I am just going to paint my whole owl in with my golden honey. So I'm using my half inch paintbrush here and I'm just gonna do a solid layer And what's beautiful about this is when you're doing journey with pattern through pocket size paintings, you're using an art journal, but it is really the same technique that you're doing, except now you're doing it in an actual image. So we're gonna paint the whole silhouette I'm going to leave the eyes and these are my acrylic paint, my acrylic paint line, my golden honey. I'm going to carefully go around the nose because I don't want to lose the beak here. We're going to have to do some fancy work here and just take our time and I'm also going to be using my white gel pen too to get the design of the animal back in because you don't want to lose your little animal here You can use a smaller paintbrush around those edges if you like. So I am starting off by doing the wing and the beak. And then I'm going to show you a little trick just so that you don't lose the design. 
Okay, so I did the wing. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to just lighten up the color a little bit so that I don't lose all the little details. So I'm using my number eight. I'm just taking a little bit of white with my golden honey to change the tone a bit. And then that way, when I go into the beak, and it's just a little bit, so I'm not going too much lighter, but it is enough of a distinction that I can still see the beak and I'm not losing those details. And see that? So there's my little trick. So we're kind of doing like a monochromatic scheme here. We're just lightening up that golden honey a tad with the white. Nice to kind of get that two tone too. Okay, I'm gonna get the ears. And I get asked a lot, everybody wants to paint my animals. I'm widely known for my animal paintings. So here is a really, this is just such a fun way to create animals and paint animals without having to be, you know, realistic. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing for the underbody here. And I'm going to take a little bit of my white and we're going to lighten the tone a bit to a lighter shade so that we don't lose the design here. So I'm just going to paint the tail and the body of the owl. And the lighter yellow. I might have mixed a little too much of this lighter tone, but it's all good. I'll use it for another painting. Just know this is just block painting, so we're using the full body paint. But look how nice it is that we can distinguish between the body and the wing of the owl. I think I'm going to add another little layer here because it's a little lighter and I kind of like that color. So I'll just do another little layer here in the lighter tone where the beak and the top of the owl's head is. It's so interesting how just a simple outline of an animal or design once painted just completely transforms. Like this painting is already transforming. 
once we add the colors in. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the deeper golden. I'm going to do the center of the eye. like so and then I will do the white of the eye a little bit of that gold is mixing in with it that's perfectly all right with me. Kind of like that little blended look. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of my coral peach and I'm going to start working on the background leaves or the flowers. And I'm going to do the flowers in pink. I'm just filling in the shapes of the flowers while we get our owl to dry. I just love my paint. Look at the coverage you get in one coat. It's a full body paint. We've got these little coral peach flowers. Now remember this is our inspiration for our animal, this print. So I'm using the same colors. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is dry, I'm going to start doing some leaves. So I'm going to draw a little stem and I'm going to start adding some leaves to, or sorry, some little pink leaves to my owl. I don't typically like to draw my patterns. It's just like I would with the course that I teach, Pattern Through Pocket Size Paintings. And we just layer the paint. So we started with the golden honey background. And we're just adding some leaves. And then I'll do a little one here. This one, I will just do an outline. So I'm just putting a little thin point of tape. Uh-oh, I got pink there. I'll have to cover that up with paint. The golden honey underneath is still a little wet, so. I did get a little smudging. Isn't that pretty? Just a couple little leaves. I'm going to do the same thing down here. And I'm just working in the um, the 
little wing at the moment. So I'm going to do an outline. I'm going to do a little, oops. Line leap here. So remember, I'm using this pattern as inspiration. You can copy the pattern outright, or you can take components of it. I tend to do the same thing twice, so I feel like I'm going to be changing this pattern a bit, or just using some components of it as inspiration. So some of my leaves are filled in, others are just outlined. I like having a little bit of both. So when I go, when I'm doing the wing over here, I'm not going over the body because I want to make sure I still have the wing separate than the body. So I'm going to do a different kind of pattern or design there. One more leaf over here. I rotate my paper a lot when I'm painting. I always encourage you to do the same too because it's just a really nice way to get your little details in. You just have more control over your image and your points. Just way more comfortable. Okay. I love that. Let me just touch up here where I got some paint. And here, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is get a little bit of my azure. We'll get some of this going. And I'm gonna use the azure in the background here. Let me add a little bit of water so I can get a nice little thin point on the stems. I should probably get a thinner brush. I'm using my number six. 
I'm going to get my number four here. Okay, that's better. I'm just getting nice thin lines. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this with a little brush, you can always use a little gel pen. And this is also just to give an example is if you didn't want to use my printables in the background, you could really create a background like this in behind with organic shapes and put some ferns. So there's so many different ways that you can create. And then I'm just going to add some little dots in some of these. Just as a little addition, some little lines to separate these little florals. And then I'm simply just going to paint this larger leaf in with the azure. And remember, these are all using my printables. So I provided the drawing for you. You just needed to transfer it, and then you can create your own painting with it. adding a little bit of dark in between here. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. I want to add some dark leaves. But some of these leaves I'm going to paint pink. I don't want them all to be dark. But the majority of the ones that are going to be closest to my owl I'll do dark just so it pops so let me get the stem in there the branch and then I can decide which ones I'm going to do pink Okay, so I'm going to do this end one dark. And I'm going to do this one dark. Don't worry if you go out of the line. You just make the leaf a little bigger. I do that all the time. Okay, so this one's going to be pink. I think I will do this one dark. I just want to have a few pink ones.
and I'll do this one dark too. I often like to have a little grouping of one color together. And the rest I'll do pink. I know for sure I want this one pink. I'm still trying to decide if I'll do these two pink or just one. It's one of those decisions I have to make as I go to see how it will look. I think I am going to do them both pink. If I don't like it, I will paint over it after. But I'm pretty sure I will. Because I like, like I mentioned, I like grouping little colors together. I think that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, and then I'm just looking at components here of what I might add, and I think that's where I'm gonna come in with my gel pen, or actually, I've got a Posca pen here. My students keep telling me about these Posca pens, so. Let's try it out. Okay, this is a pretty fine one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these little components that I used in my design and I'm gonna add it into the forehead of my owl. Add a little grouping to the ears just for something exciting. And let's see. I think I'm going to use a little bit of my circle, organic circle shapes in the chest. Just for added design. And I'll just use little... So the Posca pen, this one is a fine tip, but it's still not as fine a tip as the gel pens that I usually use. Which is okay. I always like to try Almost something different. So it just depends on what you're looking for in your design. What I find with the Posca pens is the ink definitely flows a little smoother. But one thing I notice and why I like the gel pens so much is 
the white is not as vibrant as the gel pen, the Uniball ones. So you get a different look. Isn't this pretty? So I'm going to do a little touch up because my finger got in to the paints. So it's the beauty about acrylic paint is you can just do a touch up. And I'm going to do another layer of pink on my golden honey just to brighten it up. sky is so cute. I've been wanting to do this little owl since I created it. And I know you guys have been asking me, you want to do some animal paintings. So I hope you're enjoying this process and I hope it's given you inspiration on all the different ways that you can create in this pattern silhouette book. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Posca pen. I'm going to outline the beak. Brighten up the eyes a bit. I think I'm going to continue this up just to give him a little more character, right? Isn't that cool? And let's see, I'm going to take a step back. And I think I am happy with that. I just want to leave it simple. So what I might, you know, I think I like it like this. So that's how I am taking inspiration from my journey with pattern. And I've taken this pattern as inspiration and I'm using it in one of the silhouettes. So I hope you enjoyed it again. I just want to share the colors that I've used. Coral peach, golden honey, and of course the azure. And there you have it. That's how you paint pattern silhouette.